es Jalen. Me llamo es Jalen. Today we are making authentic corn tortillas. We are using massacre corn flour. Okay, chocolate. Next, we get two thirds taza of agua, meaning two third cup of water. First, get one, I mean uno taza corn flour, which also means one cup of corn flour. Then you stir it till it's thoroughly combined. medium-sized balls. Uh, that'd be cooked for a minute or we've got... Yep, you need to get over here. Once it starts to bubble. Once it starts to bubble. <laughs> what? Try to flip it. Flip it over. Flip it over. When it cracks, you leave it alone. You leave it alone. The medium sized balls should be about this size and then you put them like in the center of the tortilla presser, pull the thing down, press it and then boom! Then you lift it up and it will be this size. Could be bigger. Then put the tortilla in the griddle and wait for 50 seconds until you flip it over. Because we should. Like said before, make a medium sized bowl. And then you pull it together and round it so it can be. Just to be. Yeah, hey, that's way too big. Let me try to cut that up. And then roll it. Hold on, move it. Push this down. Nice and hard. So it'll be real thin. And as you can see, you can rip it a little bit because it's so thin. That's how you want it to be, but try not to rip it. And boom. Okay, make the next one. You guys got to make all this dough up, all right? You count, can you count to about a minute? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can watch up there. Right. Make another um, medium-sized ball. Roll it. Then, when you see it's all good, put it in the tortilla presser once again. And I say, push it down hard. So it and then push it back. So it can be real, not real, real thin, but thin. And another way you know it's thin, if it's real big like that, where squished in here. Yeah, if you, if you see it's not that thin, do it all over again. The process all over again. Hey, show me. Flip. 
After after 50 seconds, flip it to the other side, to the other side. There's all of them. This is what it looks like when all of them are done. The fixings of the corn tortillas. First, you take a tomato and you cut out the center. Green part right there. Then, take it out. Set it aside. Then you take the and then you cut like this. Then you go to the other side. Do the same thing. Then you go to the side, and then you just turn it off, so it'll be like a nice little chunk. Then you do that all over again. Now we've got the tomato part in. Hmm? Now we've got the tomato part in. Over here, we are cooking my hamburger. Meat. As you can see, we got it started already. As you can see, we got it started already. Right, now we are going to cut the avocado. First, you get your knife and you slice it all the way through. Now since we got that done, we have to pop up off the seat. And there's the avocado. We have our tortillas to add the, the toppings. Home homemade toppings. First, I'm going to grab me some meat. No. Now, okay. I'm coming to get some cheers. Or... And I'm going to have a little bit of tomatoes. And I made a quarter to the taco. All right. Next, take your plate and go sit down. Mm -hmm. but smash. All right. What are you going to put on yours? Avocado and cheese and meat. Okay. Go ahead. Next, I'm up and now I'm going to grab me corn tortilla to add my toppings. First, I'm going to give you half a scoop of meat. Next, I'm going to grab some cheese and give me a scoop of avocado. And now I have my quantity of tacos.